I've got a TI-84, but these are going to work exactly the same on a TI-83. The first thing that we've got to do is to get this data into the calculator. To do that, I'm going to go to my stat menu. So I click on stat. And then I'm gonna choose edit by clicking enter. So I click enter, and now I've got some lists. Yours might be completely empty, but if they aren't, we wanna clear the lists first. I'm gonna click my up arrow, so I'm highlighting the list name. This is only if you're clearing data. And then you're gonna click on clear, and then enter. Don't do delete, that will get rid of the list completely. Once you've got an empty list, you're ready to type your data in. I'm gonna go ahead and type my data followed by enter. So 62 enter, 55 enter, 78 enter, 62, 87, and 91. Once I've got all of my data in here, I'm ready to get to those statistical measures. I'm gonna exit here by clicking second, followed by quit. Now I'm gonna run one variable stats. I click on the stat menu. I'm gonna arrow over to choose the calc menu. And I do want one variable stats, which is my very first choice. So let's click on enter. Um, I do want list one, but if you happen to have your data in a different list, you can grab the other list by clicking on second and then any of the numbers that your list happens to be. You go second, two for L2, and so on. I'm gonna do second and then L1. We don't have a frequency list, so if you have something here, you can click the clear button. And if your calculator happens to look a little bit different and looks like this, you're gonna go ahead and click second, L1, and then enter. On my calculator, I'm gonna arrow down and then click enter to calculate. Now I've got all of these great measures. That very first measure at the top, X bar 72.5, that's my mean. I don't use the next two values, but that's the sum of all your numbers, the sum of all of them squared, but the next two after that are my standard deviations. The S, X is my sample standard deviation. Notice how it's a little bit bigger than the sigma X, which is my population standard deviation. If I arrow down by clicking the down arrow, I can see the rest of my measures. N is the number of values in my data set. There are six. And now I've got my five number summary. Minimum, first quartile, median, third quartile, and my maximum. The calculator doesn't give you the mode, but if you want the mode, all you've got to do is to sort your data in order and then take a look at the most frequent value. Let's do that really quick. I'm going to click on the list menu, which is right above stat. So I click second followed by list. I want to arrow over to choose operations. And then I do want sort A for sort ascending. So I'm going to click on enter. It wants to know what list I'm going to sort. And I want list one. So second one for list one and then enter. It just says done. Let's go view the data by going back into stat. So I click stat and I'm gonna edit, so I click enter to edit. And here's my list in order, and we can more easily see that 62 is the mode because it shows up the most frequently. You're gonna to wanna to watch this next video so that you can learn more about statistics and your TI calculator. Thanks for watching.